Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there. Welcome back to another episode of Droplist, where we cover all the items that are releasing in various weeks for various brands. And in today's episode, we have to cover all the items that are releasing in week two of Palace's Autumn 2020 collection. Yes, <laughs> guys! Woo! Yeah, I know. Daniel covering a drop list a day before it's actually meant to drop? What is this, bro? What is this? <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Well, I thought, I thought that, well, if, if I leave it to the last day, it's probably not going to get done. So I thought, you know what? After work, I'll come home and I'll do the video. So we're going to do it now. We're going to be discussing all of the items dropping in week two of Palace's Autumn 2020 collection or fall i mean if you're american it's fall <laughs> but you, you get it that season the latest season now uh how we're going to cover each individual piece and the release details is we'll be using a hype beast article and i actually got to say just quite quickly hype beast was actually from what i know the first place that posted all the items that are releasing this week so props to them usually they are but last week they were they were kind of slacking on week one but week two They've come around again. So yeah, we'll be using a hype beast article today to cover all the items releasing. I'll give you my thoughts and opinions on the whole week as a whole and obviously the individual pieces as well. Now, if you guys want me to keep covering upcoming drop lists for, you know, upcoming weeks of Palace, Supreme, all those brands, don't forget to leave a big old like on this video, a comment in the comment section down below, and a subscribe to the channel as we are trying to aim for 2,550 subs by the end of august we hit 2500 with your guys support this month hopefully with a little bit of further support you know it's less than 20 subs guys you tell two mates they tell two other mates hopefully we can hit 2550 by the end of august but let's move on let's move on let's head on over to the high beast article and have a look at every single piece is dropping in week two palaces autumn 2020 collection uh uh yes guys um it's 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 an interesting one <laughs> when this is the first item that's showcased to us ah! okay maybe i'll have a different opinion but let's read into the article we'll read all the release details first and then we'll dive into the wow 26 images that we have of all the items that are dropping all the pieces of clothing and also the shoes that are dropping uh there's 10 images of those as well so we'll start off by reading the article second we'll move on to the clothing and third we'll move on to the sneakers and then we'll sum it all up there we'll sum it all up so uh let's start it off here's every piece from palace x adidas originals sun pal collection so yes guys if you were a little bit confused were you like what this isn't a drop list uh, everything that is releasing in week two is actually this whole collection between Palace and Adidas here. Now, um, that's kind of sad. It means that we miss out on all the items that we had a look at in the lookbook. It means that everything's being delayed until at least a week three minimum, unless unless they do two weeks in a row of collaborations, and then we'll have to wait till week four to get items. But I honestly doubt that. I reckon we'll get the regular items back in week three. Uh, yes, week two is going to consist of nothing but Palace and adidas items so um sorry if you guys were waiting on anything that's coming out in this seasonal range we are uh, we're only getting palace adidas stuff everything from football inspired jerseys to goggles and water shoes <sighs> can i just say to sum up every time palace collaborates with adidas it's either the most british thing you've seen or the most wackest thing you've ever seen Last season, it was these skate shoes that kind of look like bowling shoes or like futsal shoes. And then now this season, it's goddamn flipper water shoes. Like, why, Palace? Why do you do this to yourself? <laughs> Who does this? Who's on the design team and thinks this is a good idea? Maybe they'll redeem it. Let's keep going. Following on from the arrival of the recent lookbook, Palace and Adidas Originals, come on, also week one have now revealed every piece that is releasing from the collaborative Sun Pal collection. Paying tribute to the summer months, I was going to say, I feel like this collection like was late. Like Adidas was like, hold up, our Chinese sweatshops uh, can't manufacture it quick enough because coronavirus, uh, we're going to have to delay it till autumn. And then Palace was like, that's fine, bro. We'll just release it in week two. 
<laughs> like, I feel like that's the case. I feel like they had this plan for the summer collection and it just got delayed. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they actually thought, you know what? Let's release a summer collection in autumn. That's a good idea. Um, but either way, um, I, I guess it's, yeah, it, it definitely is paying tribute to the summer months if it's got water shoes in it. I tell you what. Uh, it's also featuring reference to the uh, Balarix holidays and the Adidas archive. The collection features apparel alongside holiday essentials. So am I going to see like umbrellas, beach towels and all that stuff? The collection's apparel includes two football inspired jerseys. Okay, so it's uh, football, uh, it's soccer on the beach, I guess. I, I'm so confused on where this collection is heading. As well as a matching co-branded top and shorts in either black or orange. Elsewhere, Palliser has produced an all black poncho. I don't know why you'd make a poncho all black because it's just gonna like attract heat. It's heat's just gonna stay and stick onto the piece. And I mean, usually, well, I mean, yeah, I, I'm confused. I'm very confused at this collection already. And a selection of caps in collection in the collection's black and orange color palette. So when they say caps, this is a summer collection. So, so do we mean like like actual caps, like hat caps, or do we mean like swimming caps? What, what what's the vibe we're going for here i'm very worried now with these 26 items we're going to be going over what are we going to be getting out here standout accessories all feature a holiday theme with different colors of goggles making me worried that the caps of you know swimming cap releasing alongside a bright yellow beach towel oh my god i actually joked about that but they're actually releasing a beach towel <laughs> Oh, Palace, please. Just bring me on board. I'll design a collection for you. I honestly want my... I want to design a collection just so I can hear from you guys. Is mine better or is this one better? <laughs> and if you guys vote for this one being better than my collection, then I'd actually be pretty cut. <laughs> but, oh, this is, this is going to be rough. Finishing off the collection is the collaborative water shoes in either blue or orange. Oh, jeez which will be releasing separately from the rest of the Sun Power range. So what, what, what? So are you telling me we're gonna get the clothing this week and then we're gonna get these? Or are you just like, yeah, it's releasing later. Like what's, what? I'm so confused by that statement. In either blue or orange that will be releasing separately from the rest of the Sun Power range. So we're gonna get it later? Oh jeez, that's grim. Okay, so be wary guys. If you want these disgusting looking things, they may not be releasing this week. They're just part of the collection, but they might not be releasing this week. They might release in week three. The collection will arrive at Palace's web store and physical locations around the world on August 14th before releasing through the brand's Japanese locations and Chinese WeChat store a day later. Keep an eye out for more details on when the water shoes will release. There you go, guys. So, 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 should we even go over the shoes? Because they're not, it, it, I, this episode is about talking about the drop list for week two. And if these aren't technically releasing in week two, then I mean, we don't really have to cover it. I suppose we might as well cover it because I mean, this article could be wrong and Palace could turn on us and they could release it this week and then it'll make me look like an idiot because I didn't cover them. So I guess we'll do it. I guess we'll cover these wacky looking things that you just, you're never going to wear. Um, but first we've got to dive into this 26 piece uh, collection of clothing for this week. And I am not too keen on this. This does not sound like a fun time, but let's do it. Let's do it. Let's dive into every single piece of clothing that's releasing in week two palaces autumn 2020 collection now to start off this weird autumn summer range we have the palace adidas uh poncho which is very weirdly showcased here i mean i suppose this is how you would showcase a poncho because like how would you do it without a model i think they should have had a model for this this just looks really weird without a model but it features dual branding on the chest it features sun pal on the chest as well and the adidas stripes up in the shoulders here probably over the head as well but i'm my i'm slightly doubting that i reckon it cuts off at the shoulders but oh man what a um what a weird piece 
Uh, looks like it's nylon based, so it's gonna feel like a bit like a lightweight uh, jacket in a way, like a lightweight um, coach's jacket, you know. Uh, it's a very weird piece. I don't know why this is releasing. We'll keep we'll keep pushing onwards. Oh, there you go. Okay, so on the back of it, it features a huge triferg, so it is dual branded. You get the three stripes on the shoulders, and you get the triferg on the back. <laughs> God, this is whack. Moving on, we have, I, I mean, this looks like a crewneck sweater. By the cut, with the cuffs, the cut there, this looks like a crewneck sweater. It's not really for me. I can see this being in like a very sporty British styled outfit, very soccer styled outfit. But um, yeah, no, this is, uh, this is not for me. Really, really weird. Now, according to this article, it had a black and orange palette, this collection. So is it gonna come in black? Now we get a second photo showcase in the back of it, so it has Palace Adidas on the back of it there. Now we get it in black, it is blue and black, uh, light blue, very UNC looking blue there, UNC, yeah. Um, it's not bad, but I just, I, yeah, I don't like the logos, the branding, anything, yeah. Nah, I'm not really feeling this. Uh, it's got dual branding on the back. If that matters to you, I don't really care too much, to be honest. <laughs> Ooh, that's a uh, yeah. Um, gonna be a no for me on the jerseys. Uh, yeah, no, we'll just we'll just keep pushing onwards. Okay, it's got a Triferg logo on the back of it. If that matters to you guys, um, ooh, we'll keep going. We got a blue one. Um, again, this one's a little bit better because of the colours, but yeah, I'm I'm not feeling this one. Yeah, nah. Matching shorts, which again, eh. Yeah, that it's not that good. No. Yeah, no. Ugh. <laughs> That's possibly the ugliest Adidas cap I've ever seen. Ugh. And does it? It looks like it has a zip on it. So like, what's the deal? Does it unzip and you can put something in like the front part of the cap? Is that how it works? Uh, oh, oh, so you can like unzip the top half off and then it's a visor. Do you guys see that? So you can zip off this meshy bit off the top and then it's a visor. So then you don't have the top part on. So then it's like a real summer cap. Ugh, this is gross, man. This is a gross collection. Nah. Yeah, see, there you go. That's what it looks like without the top on it. Ugh. I mean, that's not the worst item I've ever seen in the world. <laughs> it's not god awful, it's just awful. Ugh. Yeah, no. And, uh, oh, okay, yeah, you could just see it. Triferg logo, Adidas Adidas logo down here with a bunch of waves going around it, and then dual branding down there. Oh my god, we're almost at the end of it. This thing's so awful, it feels like I've been here for 10 years. God, goggles. Jeez. Palace goggles. More palace goggles. Oh, that's god awful. <laughs> oh, that collection was so grim. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that is possibly one of the worst weeks I've ever watched in palace history. Oh, my lord. Um. God, how could I say something positive about this? Um, this is the least awful piece out of this whole week. <laughs> this poncho, I guess. Oh man, that's rough. Oh, that's so rough. Oh jeez. Um, wow. Um, yeah, I'm not feeling it anything from this man this is just i mean the shorts maybe if you like your nylon shorts you can get these but these are short shorts look there's the where the legs meet and the groined area there that's how like they're short shorts man you got big legs they're gonna be tight on your legs i tell you they're like short shorts so proceed with caution <laughs> But, oh man, this is rough. Yeah, um, yeah, no, I honestly, I'm gonna come out and say it. This is a horrible week. 
um all these items are pretty bad and i mean it 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 definitely does what it needs to do if it's a summer collection it nails that it's a summer collection but it's very disgusting um this is probably my favorite piece but i wouldn't want to be seen wearing that because like what the hell uh jesus um let's move on to the water shoes <laughs> And uh, I'll, I'll, um, we'll, we'll, we'll have a look at those as well. Oh, it just gets worse and worse. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I'm so done with this week already. Can we skip to week three? Uh, no, nah, okay. Positive outlook. Positive outlook. Let's have a look. Okay. Um, oh, so ugly. Why is there Velcro here? Why? What is the point of this Velcro? It does literally nothing. And it's got toes. Why does it have to I mean, it's water shoes, okay, but this is so ugly. Uh, mm. This is gonna end up at outlets. You're gonna find this at uh, Adidas outlets, guys, I tell ya. I mean, that's a nice color combination because I got the UNC Jordan 1s right here and I know that, that that's a nice color combination, but it's a horrible shoe. I mean, I get it, it's for summer. Yeah, it's a summer collection, but this is just, oh god, this is awful. Maybe I should have just left it till tomorrow. No one would have cared anyway. <laughs> should have left this video until Friday. Nobody would have cared about it. Oh, this is grim. This is so grim. Um, Yeah, well, there you go, guys. Um, that is the whole collection. That was all the apparel. Um, this was the shoes. Uh, the shoes won't release this week according to the article, so the shoes are coming later. I hope they never come at all, to be honest. <laughs> um, Carlos, you're a skating brand. Why are you doing a summer collection that, like... Uh, is there even beaches in England? <laughs> of course there's beaches in England, but they're not sand beaches, are they? They're rock beaches. Oh, this is just grim. This is just so, so grim. Um, how do you guys feel about this? Do you like anything from this week? Uh, from week two? Uh, are you going to be picking up the poncho? Are you going to be picking up any of the sweaters or jerseys or anything like that? Or um, are you going to miss out on this one? You're going to wait till week three. You know what? I'm not even going to argue against you if you say that. That's totally fine. That's totally okay. Let me know in that comment section below what's your thoughts on the water shoes, on the uh, overall week as a whole. But um, yeah, honestly, not feeling this one. Oh, that's it guys that's week two that's it um so far this season week one started with a bang uh week two it's gonna be a miss for me <laughs> oh that was so bad that was so so bad i never want to look at that ever again uh but maybe you disagree Maybe you're like, nah, Daniel, it was lit. Well, at least we covered the release details. It's releasing uh, on the 14th, isn't it? Yeah, 14th, 11 a.m. British Standard Time on Adidas, uh, oh, sorry, on Palace's web store. Uh, that was rough, man. That was a horrible question. Um, the shoes, I mean, they're not releasing this week according to the article, but if they do, ugh. Please, just get it over and done with. Just please, just do it. I don't want to see them ever again. I don't want to cover them later on in a future drop list video as well. Um, they were horrible. Uh, the collection was horrible. I hated everything in it. Um, I would. The only piece I'd consider wearing is the poncho, and the poncho I wouldn't even wear. <laughs> it's like the most wearable piece for me. No, nah, I hated that. That was really, really gross. Um, maybe you would disagree. I, I want to hear what, how you guys feel about it. Uh, let me know all your thoughts and opinions on Palace and Adidas's collection that is releasing uh, for week two's drop list of Palace's autumn 2020 collection. And of course, if you want, to, want me to cover next week, I think we should just cancel it now, to be honest. <laughs> uh, don't forget to leave a big old like on this video, a comment to the comment section down below, and a subscribe to the channel as we are trying to aim for 2,550 subs by the end of the month we hit 2500 this month hopefully with your guys support with you know you telling your mates sharing the channel around yada 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 we can hit 2550 subs by the end of august but oh geez yeah um 
I'm gonna go edit this video. I'm gonna go upload this video now. Forget I ever saw that collection. Um, and yeah, we'll sleep. I'll sleep on it. <laughs> Maybe I'll feel better about it in the morning when I cover the next thing tomorrow morning. But uh, oh jeez, that was rough. Um, I want to hear from you guys how you feel about it. And until the next drop list video, until the next Palace Adidas collaboration, until the next uh, Palace release, guys. I'll catch you later.